Hello, I'm Kristen. Thank you so much for joining me on your journey. If you're following along with this video, it might mean that you are in your beginner stages of your concussion recovery. It also might mean you want a relaxing, restorative yoga practice to get ready for bed or wake up. This practice will not increase the heart rate at all but I encourage you to still stay mindful of the mind and the body. And if anything becomes too intense, just back off. There's no pressure. This practice is for you. You can practice in a comfortable space, on your bed, on the couch, or on a yoga mat if you'd like. Place a pillow or something soft and supportive underneath the sit bones and make your way to a seat. You can keep the eyes softly open or close them. Hands can rest anywhere that's comfortable. No need to change your breath here at all. Just breathe softly in and out of the nose or the mouth. Feel the air flow in and out of the throat, into the lungs. Focusing on the breath allows us to be present here as we bring some awareness into the body connect our mind to the body through our breath without changing anything, just noticing. We'll practice alternate nostril breathing. If at any point you become dizzy or this is too intense, please refrain. You can just gently breathe in and out of the nose or mouth. Relax your left palm comfortably in your lap or on your knee. Bring your right hand just in front of your face. With your right hand, bring your pointer finger and middle finger to rest between the eyebrows, lightly using them as an anchor on the forehead. The fingers we'll be actively using are the thumb and the ring finger. Take a deep breath in and out through the nose to clear the passageways in the nostrils. At the end of your next exhale, close your right nostril with your right thumb and inhale through the left nostril slowly and steadily. At the top of your breath, close the left nostril with your ring finger and exhale out of the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. At the top of your breath, close the right nostril with your thumb and exhale out of the left nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Switch at the top of your breath. Exhale out of the right nostril. Inhale the right nostril. Exhale the left nostril. Inhale the left nostril. Exhale the right nostril. Inhale the right nostril and exhale out of the left nostril. Release the hand and inhale through both nostrils. Big breath and big breath out. Wonderful work. Softly open the eyes. Intertwine your fingers together and begin to roll through the wrists, back and forth. Work the wrists in a way that feels good to you. Move through the arms, gentle and soft to the wrists. Straighten your arms out in front of you, palms face the ceiling. And then exhale, bring the palms towards each other. Flip the palms all the way forward so that you try to get the palms to face up towards the ceiling. And then flip the palms back over, palms face up, and then flip them around again. Try to reach them even further to get the palms flipped over. And then palms face the ceiling. Straighten the arms out, neutral, so the palms face the ground. And then lift the fingers up. Fingers up towards the sky. And then bring the fingers down towards the earth. Flexing through the wrists. Lift the fingers back up towards the sky. And then back towards the ground. Towards the sky. And then towards the ground. Release the hands and the wrists. Gently draw your chin in towards your chest. Stay really long in the back of the neck here. And then bring your forehead over towards the left shoulder. Feel a nice gentle stretch through the right side of the neck. And then bring the chin back through center. 
and bring the forehead down towards the right shoulder. Feel long in the left side of the neck. Gentle stretch. And then bring the chin towards the chest through center. Lift the head up so the spine is neutral. And we'll gaze up towards the sky, create space in the throat. Really slowly bring the chin down towards the chest. Gaze down. And then lift the head up, gaze up towards the ceiling, long in the throat. And then bring the chin back down to the chest. Lift yourself back up to a neutral spine, gaze forward. Gently, we're going to pretend like we're shaking our head no, really slowly. So begin to twist your head over to the right, gaze to the right. And then come through center and over to the left. Back through center, really gently, and over to the right. Gaze to the center, and over to the left. Gaze forward. Bring the arms overhead and gaze upward. Set the hands in front of you. You can release the support underneath your seat if you'd like. Keep the arms straight, root down into the ground or any other object in front of you. Keep the spine long and fold gently over your legs. We're still lifting through the head and chest. Walk the hands back to your legs, to a neutral spine, and we'll bring the opposite shin in front. Bring the arms overhead and gaze up. Bring the hands to the ground in front of you. Keep the arms straight and walk the hands forward until you find your length. Keep the spine really long. You can also bring your hands to your knees and just enjoy a nice fold. Walk the hands back to a neutral spine. Bring the arms up overhead and gaze upward. Drop the left hand to the ground beside you and reach the right hand up towards the sky. The gaze can be down towards the left hand. It can be forward or up towards the ceiling. And breathe space into the right side of the body. Bring both arms overhead, gaze upward, and then bring the right hand down beside you and reach the left hand up towards the ceiling, gaze towards the ground, forward or up towards the ceiling, and breathe into the left side of the body. Reach both arms up overhead, left hand down, right hand up and over. We'll do the opposite side one more time. Lift the arms up overhead, right hand down, left hand up and over. Bring both arms to center and gaze up. And then bring your hands to your knees. We'll begin to flow here with a seated cat and cow. As you exhale, collapse through the spine, let the spine round and draw your chin to your chest. And inhale to lengthen up to the spine, gaze forward, draw the shoulders down and back. Exhale, round through the spine. Pull through the arms, broaden in the chest, gaze forward. And then round through the spine, draw your chin to your chest. Come back up to a neutral spine. We'll gently lie down on our back. You can place some support underneath your head to lift your head over your heart. 
draw your knees into your chest and just begin to draw small circles with your knees and your palms. And then switch directions. We'll come to our final relaxation pose, Shavasana. Straighten the legs and the arms by your sides with the palms facing up towards the ceiling. The feet splay out naturally. Close the eyes and just rest here. And give yourself a moment of restful, peaceful stillness. It's always great to reward yourself with calming, peaceful moments like this. We take every little moment as a gift, thankful that we can breathe and move in this way. Rest here for a moment, enjoy the music, and soften down. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently begin to move through the body, circle through the wrists and the ankles. Take a big inhale. If you'd like, you can stretch yourself long from your fingers to your toes. Keep the support underneath your head and roll over to your favorite side in a fetal posture with the knees tucked in. Gently push up through your palms to a comfortable seat or you can rest here in your fetal posture. Keep the eyes closed. Give yourself a moment of gratitude for showing up for yourself today and offering yourself some compassion, gentleness, and forgiveness for where you are right now. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.